Metro police now are trying to get to the bottom of a shooting and a violent car crash that killed a woman there on the scene. It happened this morning at 30th and Lafayette. That's on the northwest side of Indianapolis. Our crime reporter Steve Jefferson has been there all day long talking to witnesses there. He also has their surveillance video showing exactly what happened this morning. Steve? Police believe this all started with gunfire two blocks north of this intersection. They are looking at video in this case as part of the investigation. This video shows the violent crash Tuesday morning involving a shooting victim on Indy's northwest side. You can see a driver speeding down Lafayette Road before slamming into another driver waiting in the turn lane. What's going on? This is my life in the shot. I'm your host, Donald Washington. I'm going to bring you guys to a horrific story. This is out in Indianapolis. Her name is Jane Wallfield. She's going to be doing a... Facebook live video about a guy that she says she once got some head from or whatever. She's going to publicly humiliate him. This is the picture in the middle. She's going to say in this uh, post, she puts his picture up, which is very dangerous. People, stop using social media to humiliate people. Understand, this is every, out there for everybody in the world. This picture is going to say, has a picture of Gay Bird and whoever he is. Um, I walked in on Hallsburg nigga effing his own cousin in the ass. On oh, my mama. These niggas are whatever. 24 hours, she was dead. Shot dead twice. You guys seen the accident. Uh, once they got to the scene of the accident, they discovered she was already shot dead. She was taken to the hospital and pronounced dead. However, I want to bring you guys to her Facebook Live video that she did on this guy. This is her on the left. This is her uh, Facebook Live video. Listen to her putting all his business out there, which is a very dangerous game. People don't do this at home. Take a listen. Two! Two eyes! I had to come here and tell them about it. Listen. <laughs> Happy earlier today. Hold on. This nigga, y'all, that... Hold on, let me wait for some more people to get on here. Let me, because y'all got to hear this story, because this is a good story. You know, we hear a lot of shit, but we don't never really get to see that shit, because these niggas, they hiding. Listen, y'all, they're hiding behind the, the, the covers in the sheets around this bitch. The covers in the sheets. You feel me? The covers in the sheets. Hiding. They're hiding. So... I haven't, you know, discussing some shit with this nigga. We have some, we were doing some business, me and this dude. Now, I'm going to tell you, he did give me some head way back a long time ago. Lo long time ago, a couple of years ago, like before I started fucking with Fran or something. I took, no, he wasn't even, no, he wasn't even there. It was after, okay, it was about two years, how was it two years ago? About two years ago. I think when I first got, was on Orchard, he gave me some head. That's when it was, you know. Okay, so when I was on Orchard... Nigga gave me some head, right? Never really talked to him like that. You know, I had the old man. I had a lot of other shit going on, so I never talked to the nigga like that. Listen. No, listen, listen, listen. So, I was doing some business with this nigga, right? Hold on. I had to run in there and still take my phone and run out. They chased me out the house. Hold on. Pants hanging and they're right there. Hold on. Screaming, Howville, though. Know? They was I said, fuck Howville. I don't give a fuck. You niggas better give me some money. I'm fucking telling everybody. You niggas got some money? We Howville. Ain't nobody. Fuck Howville. Howville gonna have to pay. Because if not, it's just a story to be told. Oh, uh, y'all don't want to pay? Bitch, you was good. I let you give me some head and you had our fucking niggas in they ass? Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not gonna fly. No, it's not. And I feel disgusted. I've been sick all day. I've been sick all day thinking about how I let you suck on my motherfucking pussy. And you're over there hitting the fudge out the back of niggas. I can't. I can't stomach it. But they say you far east side niggas been doing that shit. I ain't never seen that shit. Listen, I never seen that shit with my own two eyes. But today, I've been scorned for life. But today, I'm trying to move forward. Today has been one. Today, I've been traumatized. You niggas out here traumatizing bitches. So the rest of the story is going to read that she tried to extort them allegedly for $5,000 and they had to, she's going to tell us, 
the rest of the story about how she had to run out of there and they was trying to catch her and she was parked out front. She was able to jump in her car and speed off. However, within 24 hours, that's the video, the news clip that you've seen of that she was already shot twice and flying down the street and eventually crashed and succumbed to her injuries. Um, I don't know how old she was. This happened yesterday, February 18th. When police found her suffering from a gunshot wound, she later uh, was pronounced dead according to social media. Death was over a beef of a man she knew personally. Um, Jane exposed a man using a mess around with as a homosexual on Facebook. Um, she had several posts outside the ones that you guys seen that she tried to extort them for $5,000. She accused the man of having sex with, um, with his male cousin. Um, she also had several other uh, posts. Keep acting like you don't know. I actually seen her Facebook page yesterday. And she had dude picture, the exposing of dude picture in her background. Somebody must have taken that picture off. Um, a lot of times you see when somebody passes, a family has the um, Facebook page taken down. However, hers is not. But some of the posts are taken down. You can see this one, February 7th. This content isn't available right now. Indianapolis woman killed um, hours after exposing two DL goons. Keep acting like you don't know. Right, this was the one. Now, people understand, just like children understand, social media is not the time and the place to air out dirty laundry, to even expose what the hell you're doing. I can't count how many Facebook posts I watch and they're talking about what they did last night, who they did it with, and when they're doing it. This is not the time and place. If you want to text your friends and tell them what you did last night, how you did it, when you did it, that's fine. Social media is not the place. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, not the place. People are saying, rest in peace, beautiful woman. You didn't deserve to be killed. God come to your family. I do not, I have not seen um, on how old she is. I see we have four mutual friends though, but um, this is going viral. A lot of people and you know, some people think this is funny. Some people think stuff like this is funny. It is not funny. But however, uh, there's people out there, it's even with men and women, which is disgusting and passing around diseases. But, ladies, men, everyone, be careful, be easy. Um, I'm gonna bring you some of the rest of what she got to say. Yeah, bitch. I want to let him go right out my little car, honey. I don't move without my pistol. Never, bitch. Should have went to the door with that motherfucker. Good thing I didn't. Then pop one of them niggas. Hey, all I'm saying is, guys, you females don't make it no better. Y'all keep accepting these niggas back. And they just nasty and they just do what the fuck ever they want to do and stuff. And now they just getting wild. I guess they just tired of us bitches. Now they fucking each other and shit. The shit's getting wild. All I'm saying is be safe. Boat up. Boat up on your dude. Boat up. I'm telling you, boat up on these niggas. Because ain't no telling what's, what's going on. I done seen this shit right here. I'm air by suspect. <laughs> after, after this right here, all you niggas is suspect until I determine otherwise. All you niggas on the list. All you niggas. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm cool. I should have known. You know what, though? I'm going to tell you what the first clue was. The nigga was getting his toes done. This should have told it right here. The nigga was getting his toes done, y'all. And you know how you can change the face on live? You can change the face of the person that, you know, like you're looking at them. He was changing them into men and stuff. I understood when he was changing it to like women or characters, but when you was changing them into men, why do you have the men on your feet, baby? What are you doing here? I'm like, I thought that was weird. That was the clue. See, it be clues. It be signs. I, and I just showed somebody that shit and was like, ain't this weird in a bitch? 
Why is he turning the camera into a man touching his feet? I thought that was disgusting. That wasn't number two weeks ago. And man, here we go. I walked into a mess. I walked into some smutty, nasty, disgusting shit. And I'll probably never be the same. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so start, start. I'm going to never be the same. Never. And these little dusty ass niggas, they got to be stopped. They're fucking disgusting. Now I'm wondering where you got the money for this truck and shit. You're probably fucking white men downtown. You hang downtown all the goddamn time. You down there fucking them white men. What's going on out here in these streets? For the better Indianapolis, for the greater Indianapolis, you niggas need to knock that shit off. Y'all infesting our little town. We all going to be dead. I ain't touching nothing else. I don't want no head off you niggas or nothing else. I'm cool. I'm cool. Y'all done show me what time it is around here. Shit, I thought we were safe. We sorry than a bitch around here. Y'all ain't got to worry about it. But one thing for certain, two things for sure, that bitch will never be back on this line a day in his motherfucking life. Mm. Bitch, you should have just paid the bread. You the one walking around like you got so much motherfucking money. Nigga, well, you better get, you could have, you should have got me quiet then. 5,000, I would have thought maybe that you were sincere about being good, right? You would have ran me about five G's. I would have thought that, you know what I mean? I could have maybe took you seriously. You maybe, you know, I don't know, but you you declined. And you thought you was great screaming that Hallville shit and thought somebody was going to give a fuck about that shit. I don't give a fuck about a Hallville. Nigga, I sat over in Hallville by myself and made a bag. Was leaving out of there with hundreds every day. What are y'all talking about? I don't give a fuck about fucking home Anyway, I want you guys to stay safe, man. This was a crazy story, man. One thing I noticed, man, look at who's going to be raising these next the next kids, these next generation out here, man. Pure ignorancy. Stay off of social media with shit like that, man. Anyway, I want you guys to like, comment. Make sure you guys go to My Life in the Shots YouTube channel. I'm going to be putting everything going live over there. Peace, peace.